All right, before you start, make sure your integration is turned on. Go to the top right drop down menu and click Integrations. Find WooCommerce and click it. And make sure e commerce integration is turned on here. If you haven't already installed the WooCommerce plugin, please go ahead and read the instructions here. I also added some more information in case you need it in the description of this video. Otherwise, if you have everything installed, let's go to Dashboard and let's see what has changed here. Once you send your first email and people start purchasing things, you will see this new area, e-commerce performance, and you'll see the data filling up here and over here. When you go to your campaign area and you create a new campaign, give it a name and click next. Choose the drag and drop editor and now you'll have access to new e-commerce integration blocks. Just click this here and here are your new blocks. What you can do now is drag and drop it wherever you need. Let's just get rid of this for now. And once you click the block, you'll be able to add products straight from your store. You can search by the title of the product or just choose one from the list right over here. Click insert and there you go. Save and of course you can add other product blocks like this multi product block. If you click this one here, you'll have the option of adding many different types of products in one block. Insert and there we go. You can edit your products here. You can change the order of the products if you need to. Click settings to change small design things within your products list here. And when you're done editing the newsletter, just click done editing. Now you just need to choose your subscribers. These are segments that have been automatically created once you integrate with WooCommerce and you'll have different options that you can edit. For example, customers with zero purchases, first time customers, etc. I'll choose a group WooCommerce. It's my group and click next. Here you have a quick overview of everything where you can send your test email, preview your content and look at your recipients. Click next when you're ready. And here you will have this new option. Use e-commerce link tracking and that will allow you to track a lot of things right from MailerLite. So I'm not going to send this campaign now. This is just a demo, but let's now go to subscribers. Here is your subscriber list. And now if someone purchases something, let's go have a look at Remy's. You'll now see this new tab e-commerce stats. And when you click it, you'll see the whole history of purchases. Now let's go back to subscribers again. And just wanted to show you if you click segments, you'll have access to all the segments that have been automatically created for you when integrating with WooCommerce, like I said before. And here you can view the segment by clicking it and editing the segment to your liking. The next thing you can do with WooCommerce is go to automations and create a new one. Give it a name. And if you have integrated with WooCommerce, you'll see this e-commerce automation tab here. And now you have new triggers that you can start your automation with your whole workflow. You can have it start when someone purchases any product. For example, you know, someone purchased any product and you can send them an email saying, Hey, thank you for purchasing your first product. We appreciate your business or purchase a specific product, right? If uh, someone likes, can select the product from your store. Again, search by title or just choose the product here. And when that person purchases that product, you can say, Hey, uh, for example, I love that model of shoes too. Or you can send them a follow up email asking them if they have purchased these this model of shoe before and why do they like them? Another thing is the purchase from category. So if someone purchases from any of your categories, right? Jackets, jeans, polo, etc. You can also send them a whole workflow connected with this, right? So let's select the category t-shirts this time. And when someone buys a t-shirt, you can create a delay. For example, two days, add an email, etc., etc. Or what you could also do is 
if someone purchases from a specific category, you can create an action and you can copy these people to a group, for example, called t-shirts. Then you have a group of all the people who bought t-shirts in your store. Now let's move back to the automation tab. And now when you see your automations, you'll also see new things in the full report when you click it here you'll see this new e-commerce tab. And in this case, it's a demo, so no purchases have been done, but just wanted to show you it here. Also, when you go to your campaigns and you go to your sent tab, you will also see the new tab in the view report. And here's the new tab, e-commerce. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'll see you in the next tutorial and I wish your sales to go way up. Hey, thanks for watching the video please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.